This is everything that we keep in our truck camper. I just spent the last four hours unloading everything so that we could answer the million dollar question of how heavy are we? If you're new around here, we're Eric and Marissa. We've spent the last almost three years living full-time out of our 2005 Lance truck camper traveling all around North America and Baja. Last summer, we upgraded from our 2015 Ram 3500 to a 2018 Ram 5500. And although I have a pretty good idea of how much we weigh, I'm still scared that today we might find out that our truck camper is overweight. So you're probably thinking to yourself, if you wanna know how heavy your whole rig is, why did you just take everything out? The reason for that is because I wanna to showcase today not only how heavy a truck camper is, but I wanna showcase to you guys how heavy all the items that you carry in your rig are. No matter whether you're considering a van or a truck camper or a tow behind, it's easy to look at a rig like this and see the amount of space that it offers and forget how quickly all of the stuff that you have adds up in terms of weight. So the plan is we are going to take the truck down to the scales, completely empty, and then we're gonna load all our stuff back into the truck camper and weigh it again with all our stuff inside and see what the weight difference is so that you guys at home can learn just how quickly weight adds up when you're two full-time nomads that have mastered the art of space optimization. Okay, so got the vast majority of everything moved inside the shop here. The rest is gonna stay outside while we go to the scales, in the interest of time and lighting, any of this stuff here is kind of just small crap that I don't have a box for. We're gonna be inside of a locked gated parking lot anyway while we're leaving this stuff, so the idea of theft is pretty minimal. the scales here let's take a second and go over what we have for a rig and what we know about it in terms of existing weight information so our camper is a 2005 Lance 981 it has an advertised dry weight of 3,499 pounds now dry weight of a camper is essentially how it rolls out off of the manufacturer's floor before it hits the dealership and also that number is usually without any major factory options things like air conditioning, generator, in our case, things added on like a solar controller, solar panels, power inverter, all of those items are still in our camper and are gonna add to that existing dry weight. Now, on the truck side of things, when we bought this truck last summer, I was able to hit a scale on the way home from California to Idaho at the time. I'll show you a little clip of how much our truck weighed when I hit the scales empty. Got a scale, so it's gonna give us front axle first. This is cool, we're gonna get a, a weight calculation on this big fat pig. Look at that, 6,000 pounds front axle. All right, let's get the rear axle on there. 4,800, 6,000 and 4,800. We've got 10,800 pounds. We've got about half a tank of fuel in here. One extra human being. So now you've got some sort of a baseline as to what our truck weighs, if you did the math there. If the weight of the truck when we rolled over the scales was about 10,800 pounds, and if our dry weight of our camper is basically 3,500 pounds, what do we got? Just about 14,500 pounds for the truck and the camper by itself, not including any of our stuff. Now, again, that's the dry weight. That's not with our batteries and full propane tanks and half a water tank and our mattress in there. So my guess when we roll the scales today with nothing in the camper, we're gonna have a weight of 15,200 pounds. I can definitely feel a difference in the way this thing drives without all our stuff in there. You can feel when you're going through corners or going in and out of parking lots, over big bumps on highway bridges and stuff like that. It just, it doesn't bounce around like it does when it's loaded up with all our stuff. So 
there's the scales not being a professional truck driver i don't really know what the procedure is so let's park this thing and then we'll go inside and find out what we gotta do how are we doing how do i go about weighing a vehicle on the cat scale is that possible uh as far as i know you can weigh it just like a semi you just so do i just go roll on it right now and then you'll yeah. let me know yeah Sweet. i believe that's all you gotta do all right let's try it i'll be back okay. thanks man The guy inside the Flying J didn't exactly seem like he's done this a ton of times, but sounds pretty easy. I saw on the sign that it's inside there, 1350 for a weighing. Let's go weigh this thing. As you can see, we got the truck on the scale, got the front axle on one pad, got the rear axle on a different pad. I don't know if I'm holding up traffic here, but let's go inside and find out how much we weigh. What do you need? I'm looking to weigh my vehicle on the scale, please. Oh, you don't know how to do it? I'm on it right oh, now. But it's not. Okay, now we can't prove it until you get off the scale. Oh, okay, no problem. Okay. I'll be right back. All right. Thank Sorry, you. Man. No, no, it's okay. Okay, we're back at the truck. It's super busy here with semi trucks getting in for the night, wrapping up their daily drives. They're kind of using this scale as like a driving lane rather than for its actual scale purposes, but I'm feeling in the way. And I'm a pretty self-conscious person about feeling like I'm inconveniencing others with whatever the heck I'm doing. And in this case, something that's all for fun and not out of necessity. Okay. Let's turn it around, turn it around. Now that we're parked, let's go back in and pay and get our scale ticket. 1350, dear. Yes, ma'am. Right here? Yep. Okay. You want a receipt? No, ma'am. Appreciate everything. Yep. Have a great day. You too. Thanks. Got my CAT scale certified weight ticket here. To be honest, I'm gonna hold on to it for a little while and make you guys wait. I'll pick you guys back up when we get back to the shop and we gotta start reloading this thing with everything that we took out of it today. Got the gate all locked up. We're safely and securely inside the confines of Premier Marine. The good news is all the stuff that I left out here is still here. So I'm gonna take a few minutes and put some of this stuff away before getting comfortable and set up for the night. So things that I have an abundance of that are way heavier than what most people would carry would be tools. I carry a ton of tools. Do you realistically need the same number of tools that I have no, of course not. I make money with my tools while on the road, which is why we're here at the lovely Premier Marine. But on top of making money with my tools, I do all my own maintenance on this truck. I do the vast majority of repairs that occur on this truck. And so if I were to not have these tools, one, I would be in situations where I have to pay someone in order to do relatively easy things. And then on top of that, if we break down, it's pretty tough to get rescued by anything other than a heavy duty wrecker in this. So a bunch of tools is a good way to get out of a sticky situation when your truck breaks down. And just to prove to you guys that everything is in fact emptied out of here, things like the generator that normally lives in there are not there. I put the wood blocks up there just a moment ago. Toolbox is empty, fully empty. Little side compartment, empty. Normally that's where all our extension cords go and our water hose. Back seat, yes, I brought a tripod with me for filming. I also still had my laptop, had the drone. So the camper is not truly 100% empty, but let's call it 99% empty. Certain things were just reasonable to leave inside. Like for example, and I'm gonna deduct the weight for you guys, I'll show you, but I didn't empty the fridge. I left the fridge with our stuff in it because I didn't want to ruin our perfectly good food for the sake of this video and having to drive 
an hour round trip to the scale and back. We'll do those line item deductions at the end here of weight so we know as close to accurate what this thing was empty and then tomorrow we'll find out how fat and heavy she is when we're all full. So this is kind of what our nightly setup looks like here at Premier Marine. Camper in the background. I'm plugged into shore power. We've got a sunset going on behind us. Not a top 10 one by Utah standards, but still pretty good. Got a nice view of that from inside the camper all the time. I am gonna go eat some food and we'll pick you guys up tomorrow morning when we head on back to the scales after we load up all the stuff that is inside of that shop behind me. Good morning. It's time to start reloading stuff into the truck so we can go weigh this thing and find out just how fat and heavy we are. example of how good we are at the game of Tetris and space optimization in this camper. Let's look at the underside storage of our dinette. So if you haven't seen this before in our videos, I took the top of the dinette seat, cut it, put some supports in there and a piano hinge so that we could articulate up the bottom of the seat and get at the full underside storage of the dinette rather than just through the access door that Lance had created for us. An example of where we're definitely killing ourselves when it comes to weight is up here in the kitchen cabinets. I really like cast iron pans. You see me cooking on them on this channel all the time, but we have three of them and we probably don't need three. I'd have to talk to our commander in chief, Marissa, about which ones she'd be willing to get rid of or which one she'd be willing to get rid of. Probably have like 40 pounds worth of pans up in this cabinet, but it adds up quickly, folks. It adds up quickly. Maybe I'm being grumpy. She's not here to defend herself right now. Just to clarify, Marissa's back at home in New Jersey, setting up our Airbnb for another successful summer. That's why she's not been in this video. But right now, I am just blown away by how much freaking silverware we have in this place. We are two people living in a camper. And we have two, four, six, eight, ten, ten knives. Marissa, why do we have ten knives? We're two people. Seven heavy freaking metal spoons. Plan is I'm gonna isolate some of it and maybe I'll let Marissa figure it out when she either sees this video or realizes that some of her silverware is in hiding, but crazy amounts of stuff here. Okay, so here is the revised silverware drawer. The rest of these are going in the Husky box for backstock just in case we lose something, but I'm not keeping these in the camper anymore. It's back to taking stuff out of the shop and putting it on the truck. So for storing clothing, it's not anything new or rocket science. I roll all of my pants, wrap a big giant hair tie around it. Then up here, I keep my t-shirts, my cutoffs, socks, bathing suits, underwear. And then I got my hats hanging up over here. And then I got a couple of storage tubs on the side of the bed. Sorry, the bed's not made. Marissa's not here. I'm not a bed maker. I don't do it. I don't believe in it. Every time you see the bed made in a YouTube video of ours, it's because she did it. I just got these new click chairs and some cup holders from them that we're gonna end up doing sort of an integration on them into our channel. I got some stain on there already, cause I'm a jerk. Thanks, Click. Big shout out to you guys for making awesome chairs that are super small and also hooking us up with them. We love them. Well, here's a hundred pounds going in. Oh, we use these things a bunch. So no regrets about carrying them. 
But 250 pound dumbbells, certainly gonna add to the overall weight of what we carry really fast. This weather feels like it's changing. It's starting to get colder out here. Might have to cover up these guns. It's so heavy. Okay. I can't imagine if I had like a 450 or something ridiculous like that. I would be struggle city. So no, I didn't take the dirt bike carrier off of the truck. It's only me here this weekend. That would have been a lot harder than everything else that I already did, which was honestly very hard. So if you're liking this video, be sure to like it and subscribe because I've dedicated my whole weekend to making sure you guys learn about how quickly all your stuff adds up and will make you very heavy. Love you for watching. Finally got everything packed up in the camper pretty much ready to go, but I wanted to do a quick walkthrough of what we have kept in each one of these compartments, especially on the outside, and we'll do a quick walkthrough on the inside too. I'm gonna try and rip through this as fast as I can for you. Inflatable tubes for going down a river, fishing pole, fishing tackle, compost core for the composting toilet, uh, extra cooler bag with disc golf discs in it, moonshade stuff. Then we got cat litter, cat food, my whey protein, yoga mat, more moonshade stuff, and behind there is a 12-ton bottle jack and a 20-ton bottle jack. We only have so much cat stuff because of the fact that we're here in Salt Lake and we're able to get everything from Amazon, so load up when you can. And then in the back seat delete on this side, you guys kind of saw before when we were loading up, but we got two big Husky totes full of stuff, Marissa's Segway, my one wheel's back there, 200 watt solar panel, bunch of tools underneath here. I've got coveralls under there, Bunch of hand tools underneath the bench portion of the back seat delete. Up top, we got helmets, paper towels, and we'll head over to the other side. On this side, we have six gallon water tote, click chairs, which will eventually go into the back of the camper in that pullout drawer that we have when you walk in. Miscellaneous stuff in a tote. We have our seasonal clothing change out in here, and then dirt biking equipment in there also. Down in this storage box is our Honda 2200 generator that we carry around. In this toolbox, we have air compressor, batteries for our power tools, tool bag with miscellaneous parts, also the same thing, chainsaw, power tools, blanket for rolling out if you have to work on stuff, and our propane grill. Up here we got water hoses, water filter, extension cord, and our portable solar panel cords. Five gallons of gasoline on this side, wood blocks, five gallons of diesel on the other side, full spare tire in the middle. Let's go inside and I'll show you what we got in there. Okay, high-speed walkthrough of inside. Here we go. Snacks, miscellaneous, pots, pans, plates, excessive amount of cast iron, one non-stick pan from Marissa, coffee cup, bowls, bunch of bowls up there, Tupperware in the back, and then in this hanging closet is all our hanging clothes. I got a backpack in here, some extra sodas and stuff like that in there. This is our pull-out pantry. You've seen it before, but food comes out. So I didn't take the TV out. It came with a microwave. The microwave was probably heavier than the TV. Under here is our food pantry that you saw before. This is where all our electronics are. Got my laptop, computer stuff power cords for the power station. Power station lives under there. Shoes go over there. My sponge, my body sponge is there. I'm, I'm a slob. And then the fridge, don't forget the fridge. I'm going to weigh everything that's in here and then do an itemized deduction at the end of this from our weight yesterday. And then in the bed area you saw before, I got clothing all up on the top area there. Miscellaneous stuff on the bottom here. Marissa's is all kind of the mirror image, just clothing. I put in a subpar amount of effort to make the bed so that Marissa would be appeased and it doesn't look totally horrible in here. Under the sink is just typical under the sink stuff, two office size trash cans, cleaning products, stuff like that. Let's get to the scales before the sun goes down. All right, gonna do one last walk around, make sure everything we need to secure down is secured down. Let's 
dude. That's kind of loose. That needs to be tightened up at some point. It's probably fine for now, but feels like more play than I want. All right, here we go. <laughs> Let's go weigh this thing. Truck feels like it's normal self again, big and heavy. Doesn't feel nearly as nimble as it did yesterday, but still seems to be handling it well. All right, we're getting off the highway here for our cat scale at the Flying J. I think it's in Springville, Utah. One of my favorite parts about coming to Utah over and over again are the mountain views. Like, I don't know of any other city in the United States this big where you've got mountain views that just take your breath away every time you walk out of a store. Absolutely magnificent. This is this the first way to reweigh? Pardon? What's your truck number? I don't have one. What would you like me to put on the ticket? Uh, for a number, 56943. Okay, we have you wait, thank you. All right, I'll be right in, thank you. All right, so that was better than yesterday. They noticed that I was on the scale. Guy came over the speaker. They ask you for a number. I would imagine that makes tons of sense for if you're an actual trucker, but if you are just a normal truck owner and you want to weigh yourself, you just make up some numbers like I did. They capture your weight on the scale, then you go inside and you pick up your ticket, you pay them for it, and you're on your way. Thank you. Thank you, appreciate your help. Wow, so that is a surprising number. Now, keep in mind, we're not fully loaded like we could be. We don't have Marissa. She has some stuff with her while she's in New Jersey. We don't have a full tank of water. We probably don't have a full propane setup, but darn close, really close on the propane. This number is better than I expected, to be honest. Just like yesterday, I'm gonna hold on to this until later and show you guys in a little bit after I do all the itemized deductions and some quackulations to make sure that this is as accurate of a number as I can try and get it to be. So the last piece of the puzzle is I'm going to fill up the camper with water, but in order to measure that water so I can know exactly how heavy I would be at my absolute fullest, I'm gonna use my six gallon can and fill it one at a time and keep tabs of it and then do the math, 8.3 pounds per gallon. Add that onto our scale ticket from today. Then we'll add in Marissa's weight. We won't tell anybody what it is, but we'll add it in there. And we'll see what we come out to for a total. Oh man, that's heavy. This is gonna be long and tedious. Oh, my calf muscles. Six gallons down, how many more to go? Well. Eighteen gallons. Four six gallon cans of water, minus the little bit that I spilled out. Did the math with a little calculator on what 24 gallons came out to in terms of weight, and it was like 199 pounds. So call it 200 pounds for easy numbers. Add that onto our existing, I'm not gonna tell you yet. It's getting late, I haven't had anything to eat yet for dinner, so time to go inside, cook up some grub. I'll pick you guys up tomorrow 
and do some math and we'll show you what the weight is on our rig. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is not the next morning. It is the morning before you're hopefully watching this. It is 1.10 on Saturday morning. I am up editing and trying to film this last bit. For accuracy with y'all, I got Hayes here holding onto my arm. Got a little spreadsheet going of all our numbers and stuff like that so I can try and be as accurate as possible about all of this information. With that said, it's late, I'm delirious, I'm tired, so if I say something wrong or I mess up, I apologize. Here we go. So, for the truck with it empty, let's go through our itemized deductions. We have food at 32 pounds. I had one cabinet that I missed at seven pounds worth of stuff. We have our adventure hammock on the back of the truck at 26 pounds according to their website. The dirt bike carrier based on everything that I could put together parts wise is 100 pounds. And so our scale weight before any itemized deductions on day one of visiting the scales was 15,840 pounds. After all of our itemized deductions, we have a weight of 15,675 pounds which that number is pretty close to what I would have expected. This guy here, just crazy at 1 a.m. And the moment you've all been waiting for, the grand finale, the weight of the truck with all of our stuff in it, itemized deductions that we need to add on here are water at 199 pounds for that 24 gallons that we added on at the end there, Marissa, we're gonna go with a flattering weight of 120 pounds. Marissa's luggage that she has in New Jersey is 40 pounds. And our scale weight on day two when we went to the scales was 17,720 pounds. Giving us a grand total of 18,079 pounds. Fully loaded, all weighed out. Now the one thing that I haven't mentioned yet in this video that I should have mentioned earlier is what our truck's gross vehicle weight is. Our GVW is 19,000 pounds. So we are under the legal designed lawyer approved number that Ram put out for this truck. If you stuck around into the end, wanna say a big thanks for watching the whole video all the way through. Greatly appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do so. Like this video, helps us out a ton. Look forward to bringing you guys another video next week. Bye.